Hi, this is Aaron at thinkboutlabs.com and welcome back. Recently I've had a few people ask me about source control and versioning for Unity. In this video we'll walk through using Bitbucket as our remote repository and SourceTree as our Git client for versioning. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to SourceTree and download their client. It's uh, sourcetreeapp.com. I'll put a link in the description for you. And download the client. After you download the client go ahead and install it. It's pretty straightforward process. And after you install the source tree, go to bitbucket.org and go ahead and sign up uh, for their free application. So in Bitbucket, we need to go to repositories, create repository, and give it a name, git demo. And then for us, we're going to leave the access level on private. And the repository is going to be git. So let's create the repository. All right, so now we have a repository to work with. Next thing we need to do is go in Unity, and we need to set up Unity for version control. So go to Edit, Project Settings, Editor. And there's two things you have to look out for. So one is under version control, the mode. You want to make sure that the visible meta files is checked. So the meta files, for anything that you've imported or created, all the details that you see over in the inspector has an associated meta file with it. So we need to make sure that we back all that information up as well. Second thing we need to look at is the asset serialization. We want this to be forced text. All right, uh, that's all we need to do right here. So let's hop into source tree. So in source tree, we need to create a new repository. We do that by going to the clone new, create new repository, and so the destination path is going to be the root of your project that you're working on. So let's path to it. Unity. And my projects down here. And git demo. So my git demo project, you can see we have the assets, library, project settings, and temp. Go ahead and select that folder. And click create. All right, let's go look at that directory. So in our git demo, we now have a hidden folder called .git. So .git controls all of the versioning um, for our project. In source tree, we see everything listed um, for our project. And a lot of this stuff we don't need to back up. Majority of it, the, the library and the temp are all created when Unity fires up. Um, they create a lot of different temp swaps and spaces for us. Git allows us to have an ignore list um, of files and folders that we don't want backed up. And it's a plain text file that looks like this. So we're going to ignore all the builds, the objects, the temp, and the library, any asset store tools, uh, any of the Visual Studio or Mono Develop um, project files, um, any text files, uh, any applications if we built anything. Um, so we're going to grab this and we're going to add it in the root of our git demo. See I have one laying on my desktop. I'm just going to drag over here. Let's see it's the same thing. Okay. And so if we reload um, source tree, now we can see we have the git ignore file and we have everything um, cleaned up for just a few files. So now we need to go ahead and get all these files staged to be pushed up. So select stage all. And that puts them all in a green checkbox. And then you have to um, comment every every push, every check-in, uh, which is really good because then you can go back on your versions and see you know what has changed, um, do co-comparisons, um, download a version that you needed that you previously deleted. So we're going to type in initial commit and go ahead and commit this. All right, so now under branches we have our master. You can see our description and it is the master. It has all of our files in it. Now let's go ahead and push this up to our remote Bitbucket repository. Run from source tree repositories add remote. Click add. And this is going to be our git demo 
repository. And the URL for the remote path, if you go back to the web, and you grab the URL here, copy that, go back to source tree, and paste that in there. And the host type will automatically populate based on uh, the URL that you pass, but it has unknown, GitHub, stash, and then enter your username that has access to that um, repository. Click OK, and then OK. Now you'll see under remotes that we have the um, git demo repo repository. And then we'll push it up, select the master, which is the branch that we want to push up there. Push. All right, so let's go back to the web, hit refresh. You can see now we have one branch. I'm going to go to our source. And we can see our assets, project settings, and our git ignore file. Okay, and just to verify that our repository is working as we want it, let's go ahead and close down Unity. We'll save it. Okay, and let's go to that directory. And let's go ahead and delete it. All right, so it's completely gone. Let's go back to source and delete repository, and we're going to clone the remote repository. So click clone new, clone repository. So for the source path URL, let's go back to Bitbucket, click the clone, I'm going to change this from SSH to HTTP, and then just grab the URL at the end of it. Copy, go back to source tree, paste this in here, and then destination path. Go to Unity. And we don't have our folder here, so let's create that folder. And then select that folder. And click Clone. Okay, now it's pulling everything down from our repository. Okay, so let's open that folder location. And now we have the Git demo. And we have all of our files in it. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. Open up Git Demo. Increase the library and the temp all over again. In the bottom left, you can see that it's rebuilding the library because the asset database couldn't be found, which is just fine. Okay, let's go ahead and load up that scene. Click play. And there you have it. Now we've demonstrated how to create your remote repository, how to use source tree um, to access that repository, and to keep track of versions. Um, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know, and we'll see you in the next one. Till then.